Hey pilots, Trigger here, and today we're going to be going over ACM radar modes or air combat modes in the F-16 and DCS world with the latest open beta. We would mainly use the ACM modes while we're within visual range of our targets of interest, and these ACM modes can be deadly when used correctly. It's important to note that these ACM sub-modes will acquire targets within 10 nautical miles, and you have four sub-modes of ACM. Currently we have HUD scan, bore sight, vertical scan, and slewable, which is not modeled yet currently in the early access F-16. Let's look at some of the important key commands you should have bound to your HOTAS. Currently I'm using the A-10 Thrustmaster HOTAS, and I use the special dogfight center and missile override center switches. This way when I click the boat switch on my Warthog HOTAS, forward or aft, I get the appropriate mode I command, and when the boat switch returns to the middle, it goes back to nav mode. The other switches we need to bind are Enable Switch and Uncage Switch. We can enter ACM modes through the FCR itself or use the ACM commands while in dogfight mode. If using the FCR, we can click on OSB1 to change from CRM or Combined Radar Mode to ACM. We can then click on OSB2 to change the submodes. Currently, we're in submode 20, which is for HUD scan, which is also the default mode when you originally go into dogfight mode. The other modes are bore for bore sight and 60 for vertical scan. And we can use OSB2 right here to change our modes. This is 60 for vertical scan, bore for bore sight, and 20 for HUD scan. And again, slewable is not in early access at the current moment. Now we're going to go ahead and go into dogfight mode with the associated command that I have on my HOTES. So we're currently in dogfight mode. We can tell by on the bottom left it says dogfight. And currently, like I said, this is an early access. And when you go into dogfight mode, it should be a no red. And no red would be displayed up here in the HUD. But we are currently in heads up display area scan or HUD scan mode, which is the default mode when going into dogfight mode. The radar will scan the HUD area 30 by 20 and the lock range is 10 nautical miles. The radar will automatically lock onto the first target in the 30 by 20 zone and when locked the target is automatically tracked in single target track mode. Now there's no special HUD symbology for this sub mode and it is less precise than the bore sub mode and may take longer to achieve a lock due to the larger scan area. Next we'll talk about boresight mode, and to enter boresight mode, we'll be in dogfight, which we are, and we'll hit TMS up. Bore scan pattern searches a small one beam width area located three degrees below the HUD's gun cross. An additional boresight cross is displayed on the HUD at the center of the radar scan zone to aid in positioning the target in the radar beam. Bore is useful for quickly locking a target within visual range. Now to enter vertical scan mode, we'll do TMS aft. And in vertical scan mode, the radar will scan at 10 by 60 vertical area. The scan center is 23 degrees above the HUD's gun cross. This mode is indicated by a vertical line extending from the gun cross to the bottom of the HUD. The lock range is 10 nautical miles, and the radar automatically locks on the first target in this zone. When it is locked on, it's in single target track. And this mode is typically used when you're in a merge and somebody's on your lift vector. All right, so let's go ahead and put everything we just learned into practice. We do have the helmet mounted queuing system or hammocks on. And we're gonna show how to use that here. So we're getting into a merge with an F-16. We're within visual range. Let's go ahead and turn on dogfight mode. We can verify that by the dogfight on the bottom left. So if you remember, it goes into HUD scan or 30 by 20 mode on initial selection of dogfight mode. So right now the HUD is trying to scan for this target, and there it is, we just got it locked up. Now TMS aft, anytime you press TMS aft it unlocks whoever you're trying to lock up, or you have locked up rather. So right now we're going to go ahead and go into bore sight, so we'll do TMS up. So if you go into TMS up, you can see the cross on the HUD, but you can also see the ellipse in the hammocks. So if I put the HUD, or the hammocks ellipse over a target, he automatically, 
automatically gets locked up. And if I hit the uncaged switch, now we have an AIM-9X ready to fire at this guy. Let's go ahead and unlock him, so TMS act, and we'll cage that AIM-9X. Now we'll use the bore sight mode on the HUD, so if I put the aircraft in front of me, into the cross, now he's locked up, and I can uncage the missile, and there we go. Now he's locked up, and the missile was ready to be ca or uncaged. Let's go ahead and unlock him, we'll cage the missile again. I'm just caging the missile with the uncaged switch. So we're still in dogfight mode. And I went into TMS right, which is the HUD 30 by 20. So now if I just put this target in the HUD and let it scan, boom, there we go, uncage. Now we're ready to fire another Fox 2. He still is still locked up. TMS aft, unlock uncage to cage that. Now the last mode is the vertical scan. So all we have to do is TMS aft. You can see the solid uh, vertical line there on the HUD. As long as he's on the lift vector, he should be locked up. There we go. And then all we have to do is uncage the missile. And now it's ready to fire at this guy. So we'll go ahead and unlock him, cage the missile. Now, those are the ACM modes. Slewable will be coming uh, further in development. Now let's go ahead and talk about the enable depress switch. So if I hold the enable depress switch, it's a momentary switch, so I have to hold it. And you can see it slaves the seeker head of the missile onto where my helmet mounted cue system is looking. So all I have to do is put it over a target, solid lock, I'm holding the switch, hold the weapon release button, Fox 2. Boom. And then when I let go of the switch, it goes back to the FCR. So if I hold the enable depress, it goes all the way around to wherever I'm looking. And then also, on your SMS page, instead of slave mode, we can go to bore mode just by hitting this OSB right here and now it's going to always go to wherever I'm looking so I don't have to hold the switch down anymore so you can get some uh, sneaky kills by using this feature but technically I usually leave it in the slave mode and I rarely use the bore mode the only time I use the bore mode is if I have the radar off and I'm trying to pull off a sneaky kill I always leave it in uh, slave mode and the most uh, mode that I usually use but the mode that I usually always use is Boresight with the ellipse on the hammocks. I do appreciate all your support. If you guys have any questions, suggestions, let me know. Again, thanks for watching. Hope you all enjoyed. Hope you learned something. If you don't have the F-16, I do recommend it. Because this module is awesome. Let's get rid of this MiG-29. That's right. F-16 all the way, baby. Rawr.